Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I've got a bit of an audience behind me. Um, I'm joined by Casey Kademi. Yep. Did I say that right? Yeah, Casey Kademi. Casey Kademi. Um, right, Casey, you just signed with Warren Boxing Promotions. Um, you're 6 0, you fought on the MTK show in Brentwood. Um, first of all, take it right back. Do you just want to tell us a little bit about your journey into boxing, how you started boxing, etc.? Um, uh, fighting has always been in my blood. I mean, I came from a country where there's always been a war on fighting. But I came here, I had a long journey to get here. And when I get here, I used to get in trouble in school. So boxing was just something that my parents asked me to go for. Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a club just to get me out of the road. But I, I, I was good at it. And then I just went amateurs, and amateurs now pro. And I want to take it further now. Do you say you came over here in, from Afghanistan? Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, in terms of your amateur background, was there much there? Did you spend a lot of time as an amateur? Um, amateur was on and off. I had about I had about twenty eight amateur fights, and okay. um, I came out six six losses. But it was it was close fight. I lost to to good to good to top boxers, and it was I, I reckon I won some of them, but you know I can't say. But I took six losses out of twenty eight, so it was alright, a decent amateur. In terms of your journey as a professional now, six, seven and zero, oh, sorry. Six and zero. Oh. Six yeah. and zero. Oh. Right. So, what sort of level of guys you've been fighting? Just the sort of start of the career, guys, journeyman sort of guys you've been fighting so far. The, yeah, I mean, um, my first uh, pro fight was a, a debutant, so I, I, had, I was going for my first debut, and so was he. Um, it was uh, I, I had a lot of ring rust in that because I, I was off boxing for about two years, and when I got into the ring, we had a lot of blood. In, inside the ring, but I, I won the fight by unanimous, won every round, and then I had um, some good journeymen. I had some good journeymen that I fought, and um, yeah, my, I, I like to fight the top fighters in UK ranking. I super flower, but the thing is, I can't get a fight. I've been pulled out. Uh, um, Tommy Frank, is Tommy Frank? Uh, Craig Davis here. I've been calling all these guys up, but none of them want to fight me. So uh, there is no one else for me to fight but those guys, the new journeymen. You just said to me off camera that you sort of place yourself. Like behind the guys at the top, behind the likes of Sonny Edwards, for example. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I realistically place myself rank number two. I'm not coming rank number six, but I would, I would, I would, I realistically, I'll put myself rank number two because uh, from them to down, we don't want to fight me. You know, in, in, like I said, Tommy Frank, Craig Davis here, you got, um, what's his name, the guy that's Sonny B um, from MTK. Ryan Farrak? Yeah, none of these guys want to fight me. I call him out, public, social, everything, but. So I can't get those fights, so then I have to fight like journeyman and for me to keep moving up. But I've been out for like, almost a year, I couldn't get no fight. Now I'm back at it and I'm signed with uh, Warren Management, Robert Warren and Alfie Warren's um, handling my career now. So. Do you think a lot of that getting your fight is perhaps about risk and reward? So if you haven't got the biggest profile yet, if you feel like you can build your profile then you land those big fights and you'll be able to sort of show people what you're about? Um, you know what? I'm, I, I mean, I can, I can, I can get rid of tickets easily. Um, I can, I mean, I'm meant to be in a big stage. I'm, my, my boxing ability is that good. I believe in it. I believe uh, seeing myself as a main event with Sonny Edwards. That's where I should be boxing at, and that's the fight I like to see. You know, I, I want to get rid of all the guys that are above me. But if I can't make that happen, I want to build my record up and just call, or maybe call that Sonny Edwards in, in the future. Is that partly why you're here today? Then just sort of get your face out there and let us yeah, know. Yeah, no, but with me and him, me and Sonny Spar, we are we're on a good term right okay. now. You know. We're, be, we're on a good term, so he's doing his thing right now. He's way above the the, the, the fight we had. So I've, got, I've, I've had only six fights. He's had way more fights than me. If I get three, four more fights, then I like to uh, get in with Sonny. And do you know when we can expect you to see you in the ring next? Is there a date you've got um, plans with in? Or? Maybe October 27th. Um, it's, it's soon. It's soon. Maybe end of October, beginning of. Uh, November, so it's not, it's not, it's not for yeah. Okay, Casey, Demi, thank you for speaking to IFL TV. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, shout out to IFL TV. Thank you very much. Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls.